What's up, Wolfpack? It's March 5th, and I'm Giovanna Menes. And I'm Ken Passio, and here with your distance learning announcements. We are happy to announce that we will be taking school photos on campus and issuing ID cards from March 8th to March 11th from 2.30 to 5.30 p.m. This will be in conjunction with textbook drop-offs for the library. All students were sent a you can book me link through student view to set up their appointment time. Congratulations to the following students who will be our ASB election officers for the 2020-2022 school year. USB presidents, Brianna Duquavis, USB Vice President Sophia Salas, Senior Class Governor Andrea Lane, Junior Class Governor Callis Esmati, Sophomore Class Governor Aria Shogro. It's Friday again, which means I'll pass it over to Kaylee for Pop. What's Pop and Wolf Pack? I'm Paul Swulo, and this is Pop, where you pop in and show you posts of the pack. Even though we're all stuck at home, remember to use our hashtag CHSWPCB for a chance to be on our show next week. Now let's check out our Wolf of the Week. Jacob Summers. Hi Wolfpack, my name is Jacob Sommer and I'm your Wolf of the Week. If I had to pick a favorite memory from CO, it would have to be being involved with theater arts. It's just been so fun throughout the years. My favorite show being involved with here though is Shrek the Musical. The cast was just so close and it was a blast performing on stage with everyone. After graduation, I plan to attend college. I'm not sure where yet, but wherever I do, I will be hopefully majoring in psychology to pursue a career in psychiatry. I stay involved here at CO by, of course, doing theater. I've been doing shows with theater since my seventh grade year. I've also been a part of the Thespian Society Club, which is the drama club here. I've been vice president of that club before, and I've also been involved with the Link crew in my junior and senior years. It was just so fun helping out with like freshman orientation. It was great welcoming new freshmen to our school. If I had to pick a favorite class and teacher here, I'd have to pick AP US History with Mr. Garcia. I've always loved history, and Mr. Garcia always made that class fun. Even though it was a bit hard at times, he always found a way to make it enjoyable. Thank you, Jacob. Good luck with the rest of the year. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Paul Spulo. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Kaylee. Now let's take a look at cryptocurrency news with Milani. There's tons of cryptocurrencies, the most well-known being Bitcoin. And as a result of Bitcoin's success, other virtual currencies like Chainlink and Litecoin were created as alternatives or altcoins. Altcoins tend to rise and fall in tandem with Bitcoin. And because of this, investors started feeling nervous when Bitcoin sank as low as 43k. As for the reason behind this drop, some analysts have pointed out an increase in miners' sellings. A Bitcoin miner is someone who is rewarded with Bitcoin after they solve a block. But the price of Bitcoin has since stabilized and is going into a historically weak month. Some analysts believe this periodic dip is tax related, but will history repeat itself? Only time will tell. Thanks, Milani. Now we have Carson talking about the Adventures campus. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Matthew Wing. And I'm Carson Rees. And we're here to tell you about Disney's California Adventures new attraction, Avengers Campus. Announced in 2017, this land will bring the world of the MCU to real life. This land will be replacing the Bugs Land and will be right by Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. The land will have a Spider-Man themed ride called Web Slainers, an Ant-Man and the Wasp restaurant, a Doctor Strange show, meet and greets, and will be debuting a new Iron Man suit. Now, those that know the MCU quite well will be a bit curious of how they're debuting a new Iron Man suit. Well, this land takes place in a world where the blip never happened. It was set to open in July of 2020, but due to the pandemic, construction was halted. But now it's set to open later this year. This isn't the first time the pandemic has halted Disney's uh, constructions. That's the Tron coaster and Walt Disney World will be delayed due to insufficient funding. And that's all we have for this week, Wolfpack. Remember, the strength of the pack is a wolf. And the strength of the wolf is back. Have a great Friday, Wolfpack.